Greetings, my fellow geologists, and welcome to Drill Deal Oil Tycoon. So, as the name of the video probably suggests, and the channel, I am a geologist, and I thought, what better than to dive into a little bit of Drill Deal, see what we can do, see if we can become a super rich oil baron. So I've only played a couple of levels of this game so far, so we're going to be a little bit bad, but, but we shall see, see how we get on. Um, but effectively, the broad principle is that you have your drilling rig, obviously, in the centre of your oil platform, going deep down into the ocean floor, extracting all that juicy oil and gas, but then you've basically got to set up like a factory to convert it. Currently, it looks like we've been given on this level a basic refinery, which is going to take that crude oil as it comes out and convert it into gasoline, fuel oil and heavy oil. But there's actually a lot more we can do with it. We can turn it into lubricants and other different products. So it looks like we've got a little bit of a setup here anyway. Um, so that basic refinery setup, we've got a little generator here, although it's quite a small one. Um, and we've got some blocks, <laughs> which are the building materials we need to use. First thing, I think we're going to want a small little chemical plant to get set up. Because that oh, will then convert the, I think, heavy oil? No, it will convert fuel oil into lubricants so that's going to change that but we're already having a power shortage and we actually need to hire some more staff as well so let's get a few more generators in first squeeze one in down there we might as well go for two because i know we're going to need them let's get those guys built up there but let's go and hire a few more staff because we're going to need a couple of people for this uh chemical production oh, there's only one available to hire anthony edwards come here mister you can at least go on the day shift. Get him in there. Okay. Our objectives for this one, we've got to have five employees with satisfaction level 65 and any skill on level 4. Ooh. So we've got to really get satisfaction and skilled workers up, which is going to be fairly hard, I think. But these are nicely working away. Yes, massively increased our power output. And obviously, we're now starting to turn that fuel oil, uh, which you can see... Actually using 45 of our fuel oil to start to produce some lubricants, which we're now getting. We've got a balance of eight. We're producing 36 a day. So not exactly, not exactly a lot, but it's a little bit. So let's hop over to the tech tree and see what we've got available. Okay, we've got some things unlocked for us already. We've got a much better drilling rig. Oh, we've got heavy oil plants. Oh, we've got a few interesting things. Squeeze that in there. One thing you've got to watch out for in this game is that buildings have noise. And if you see, it's got a noise area. And the workers don't want to be falling asleep next to a really noisy refining plant. Okay, so we've got this going. So we want um, some advanced chemical engineers, really. Uh, let's go back to the recruitment tab. Advanced production. Mr. Small, Theodore Small and Ryan Edwards. Thank you very much. Two perfect candidates. But you... And for the night shift, Mr. Edwards, you can go on there. That probably means we're drawing down more heavy oil than we actually had available. Darn. Yeah, we're actually only producing 81 a day, and our production demand is now fairly high. That is that is a problem. Um, what are we actually producing the heavy oil from? The basic refinery. But anyway, in the meantime, let's have a look where we are. Let's think about getting a second production uh, system online. Oh, we've also actually got uh, quite a bit to do in terms of buffet and stuff, haven't we? We've not got one of them sorted yet. Oh, I've got loads of work to do. Let's get a buffet built. And we might as well get a small kitchen built on the other side as well. This, this small kitchen makes noise. So we don't want to build too near it. But we can just also squeeze in a small little cinema. Let's close that. Okay, so we need staff for the cinema, we need staff for the small kitchen, and we need a more employees' quarters. Oh, we've got loads to do. Now, is that going to clash with the noise? No, I don't think it is. Smashing, we can just sneak that in. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So, let's just get a few people hiring. So, if we want to be doing a bit of entertainment... Oh, there's no one available for entertainment. What about cooking? Okay, we have two possible staff members to hire for the kitchens. So let's get them in. We'll just put the better guy on the day shift. And then we'll stick the Alexander Halpert, slightly crappy chef, who doesn't seem to be able to cook a fried egg. We can stick him on the night shift. Uh, let's upgrade some of these then. 
There we go, that should give us an extra bedroom. We should be, be able to... Ah, oh, we've lost the chemical production guy! God damn it! That's kind of annoying. Oh well, nothing we can do about it at the moment. Um, yeah, employee shortages are just going to become our biggest problem, aren't they? We just need to be better, better quality of staff as well, really. Because we're not making that much a day. And we really need to start to get rid of some of this stuff. We've got quite a max out on crude oil. But we're still really short on our heavy oil, which is just constantly holding up this production of lubricants. We're only doing, what, about 60 a day now? Oh, that's on the asphalt. Sorry, not on the lubricants. The lubricants is being produced from the other one, but the asphalt's slowly, very slowly rolling in. At some point, we need to look somewhere to try and sell that asphalt for... Okay, so we're going to have to order some more building blocks because they're really quite short. But we're also going to have to order some more food ingredients because we've not really got a lot there either. Pretty much going to spend our entirely daily money, but we need our cargo ship to come in. Otherwise, we're just not going to be able to realistically do it. Maybe we got a little bit ahead of ourselves building an, building an extra platform out here and, and we didn't quite need it quite yet, I think. But hey-ho, we're there now. It will be useful when we start trying to get that second refinery set up because we're about out of room now on our main rig. Um, and we're still basically having a real shortage of this heavy oil, which is holding up all things like our asphalt production and stuff, and we just can't get rid of the stuff, which is causing us problems. So we need to kind of deal with that. Here comes our supply. Good old HMS orders, the classic ship. Very useful. Going to be delivering our food supplies and our blocks. Oh... Uh, oh yes, you're more than welcome to come and have a view of the uh, view of the uh, oil rig for fourteen hundred gold. That was well worth the, well worth the money. Um, so we are going to need to get another employee uh, building station sleepy place. That's it. Quality words, Evo. Master of the English language as I ever was. <laughs> um, set up over there, and then I should be able to just build a small little chemical plant on this side. Uh, heavy oil production has obviously then increased quite a lot, but we do need to be getting better quality of staff pretty badly, because we're never going to be able to get uh, to this if we can't do this properly. We've got to have a skill level of four. Some of our staff are truly shocking. We're also going to have to increase the amount of stuff. Uh, yes, continue that contract. And yes, continue that contract. We're really going to have to increase, although actually we could have increased those a lot because we have so much more now being produced by the extra refinery, don't we? But we're going to have to upgrade this drill, which is going to require us 200 blocks. We have the lubricants, and then that will allow us to put extra staff on the day shift, and we should be able to then be good. Um, even though we've got a very skilled daytime driller, actually. But, uh, it's not going to help us for the moment. So, let's get some more blocks in. Back to old HMS orders. Uh, we don't need quite that many, but we're always going to need a lot, so we might as well just go for it. Because we have to pay for the hire of the ship anyway, so might as well just get what we can out of it. Uh, sell a little bit of extra gas. Uh, well, we're going to have a lot of extra fuel oil now, aren't we? Because we're producing so much, so let's flog some of that as well. We need to, at some point, start unlocking the next selection of contracts. We have a thousand, so let's buy up a lubricants contract. We won't start selling them quite yet, because we'll probably just get this um, drill upgraded first. But then we are going to need that. We're also going to have quite a bit of stuff to upgrade kind of around some of this stuff. We really need to get better technically experienced employees so we have a better chance of getting that because we need to unlock the graduates. We also desperately need to get the advanced workshop at some point, I think, because that's going to be a problem for us as well because this stuff is outside the repair range and I think if we upgrade this workshop, it should then all be in range and that will fix a lot of our, a lot of our problems for us as well has given us enough blocks though, so we should now be able to upgrade this drill. Yes. Cool. And now that means with what lubricants I've got left, we can sell oh, we've got a production of what, 40? 30 a day? Well, it's not exactly going to make us rich, is it? Let's go 25, so we've got a little bit of a spare cap. That is about 200 a day on. It's hardly exactly a Hardly exactly the bountiful reward I was hoping for, but there we go. What can you do? Come on, my little geologists and oil workers. Keep the production going. Make me rich. I want to be filthy rich. So that's all we're going to hire on staff then, because we're basically running out of employees again, and we don't want to don't go down that road. But that means everything is positive bar the heavy oil, which is kind of still struggling a little bit, but, you know, what can you do? Um, with our spare money... I think we'll go for our maintenance upgrade. I'll buy that. 
because we're going to have to upgrade this before too long. It's that 1,200 gold coins. That's actually quite expensive. Uh, we can sell that. We can sell the gas. Will that give us enough? It will give us just enough for the upgrade. It should, in theory, then mean that it covers the extra little platform, which it does, which is perfect, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, the poor tourists are on the run from some pirates, but I do not believe I have any defensive turrets to build. I don't think we've even unlocked them, have we? No. So the uh, the poor tourists can try and run if they want, but there's not really a lot I can do about it. Please don't start shooting me. We can actually, now we've maxed out on asphalt, we need to, on the next turn, once we get our money in, we need to spend the 1500 to unlock the contract with Ghana, and then we can start to sell the asphalt, which is going to be really nice for us. Okay, so we've just got our asphalt contract set up, so that's going to really quite increase our daily income, which is really quite nice. And we can still keep selling things like our fuel oil and our daily gas. And actually, when these two gasoline, the fuel oil ones come around, we can actually significantly increase the contract on those, I think, because we've got quite a bit spare. So then we should be looking good. We should be looking good. So we need to start increasing workers' um, technical experience. So let's start to increase some of them. We need to be getting on to graduate employees and all that sort of stuff later on because we're going to need them if we wish to complete some of our objectives. We also are going to have to build an expedition port wherever that is not a buffet uh, a small shipyard expedition we're short on blocks again gosh darn it um oh we're in a storm so we can't order any blocks because the whole thing's underwater okay so we just had our daily money tick over just in our usual contracts so that should see what do we get in terms of employees now then oh, so we definitely got some better drillers starting to come through um oh, and some people quite skilled in Chemical plant production. What was that? Chemical production? He's a three star. This guy down here is kind of interesting as well. Very skilled in refining. Might be worth having. Might hire him actually for his refining skill. And we might hire this guy here actually for his drilling skill. Oh, we've not got enough. Ah, oh, I know what we can do. We can. Can we can we hire the fire the useless guy? Uh, who was the terrible driller? You. To pay him a severance package, but it's worth it. Then we can go and hire the much better driller. Max Adams, you are hired. And you can come on the day shift. And then you should be drilling a lot more efficiently. Now we should see our crude oil balance go up significantly. It does. Look at that. That's making a real big difference. And we did what? Did we get, re get a much better refiner, did we, as well? So let's go to our orders boat. Get our usual stock of building blocks that we... Need an almost endless supply of. We can actually store quite a few of them, so let's get them shipped on the way. So that means we should have upped our production of uh, what we're doing on there. Crude oil to fuel oil to gasoline and fuel oil production is going up, which is nice. Uh, we're still okay on the crude oil front because we've got a better staff member working there. So he's helped with the daily production change. So it doesn't matter that we're now using more of it because we're still good. Asphalt's ticking along nicely. Lubricants are ticking along nicely. Everything is looking really rather positive, I think. We've still got quite a bit to do, but we are getting there. We also need to think about... Um, well, the next well, what else are we going to unlock clientry-wise? We've not got anything yet that we're building, are we? So there's no benefits to unlocking any of this stuff. I suppose we need to start to think about graduate employees for the 2000 for the upgrade. Because we are going to be needing that sort of four-star level of people. Um... We also still need to figure out how we're going to be producing some of this stuff. Well, there's ethylene there, but I don't know how we're making propylene. We've still not figured that one out. Okay, so we've just got our small little shipyard expedition built out. So we can put this slightly crappy guy in. Um, and then we're going to have to upgrade this once. Which then should allow me one more employee. And we can hire someone for a little bit of expeditioning. Uh, he's pretty terrible, but I don't really care. He'll do for me. Although I think we may just have entered a small power crisis. Curses. <laughs> Never easy, is it? Um, okay, we've got to fit in somewhere a small gas generator then. Perhaps vertically down there. We can just about squeeze one in. Uh, we need to remember to upgrade that when we get a little bit of money tomorrow. Unless there's anything we can flog on the market, which there isn't. Of course there isn't. So I have to wait for that one to tick through. 
We've also got to remember tomorrow we've got to upgrade um, and update our fuel and gasoline contract because we can certainly flog a fair bit more of that. Uh, there we go. We can start one of their little rock island expeditions, which is one of the tasks we need to start to kind of get underway with. We can actually now start to upgrade... Um, graduate employees, I think. Increase the chances of getting access to better job applicants. Yeah, that's, that's kind of uh, kind of worth having. Yeah, we're getting slightly better advanced scouting. So we should be getting better job applicants now coming through. So the main thing we need to do then is start to look at getting to gearing towards uh, propylene production. Okay, so we're trying to get our refineries upgraded. But we need lubricants and we need more staff to do it. So I'm trying to hire... To speed this process up basically a tier 4 staff member but and there's a big but to get him he has certain requirements including one gym at least level 2 we have the required bedrooms but we do not have the gym um, so if we have a look at employee care means we need a gym probably not gonna have enough money for this and a fitness hall mm. god this gets expensive quickly doesn't it and then maybe if we sell Sell a bit of gas? We can just just about to afford to build one of these things, maybe? I had to build a whole new platform because I don't actually have room to put one on here anymore. And I don't want to put it there because it'll be right in front of the living gas turbine. So let's go and stick one over there. Um, let's get that built. I don't think we're going to buy. We're not going to have enough money to upgrade it, are we? Ah, oh, dear. Oh, and it requires someone to run it anyway. So we're not going to have enough to employ my... Caleb Parker chemical engineer which would have vastly increased my lubricants production which is kind of annoying we nearly got there but unfortunately not quite it's not quite to be but we will kind of on the next one get that one upgraded again into a large gym and then we can hire some staff to do it although we have got a staff limit of 25 people so we are starting to approach our, our staff limit a little bit here so we've got quite a bit of work still to do can we do any more expeditions at the moment uh, no, not at the moment. Too low fulfilment to take part in the expedition. Ah, that's kind of annoying. Um, well, our lubricants are slowly filling up once we get to 100, and then with 2,500 gold, we should be able to grade one of these refineries to make it to a medium refinery, and that should allow us to start sulfur production as well. It may slightly upset our manufacturing balance, but we'll just have to adjust and get things working in there when we get there, so... Let's keep waiting for the lubricants to come up and for some money to get here. Okay, here comes our daily contracts in. And we get 5,000. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yeah, we'll continue that one. A little asphalt contract. Um, so, that should give us enough money then to upgrade this realistically. Let's do that. Um, trying to tempt my employees. Yes, we'll pay for an advert to keep our employees. Crikey, that changes that somewhat, doesn't it? Does that make that... What? Jesus. Oh, we could now do change production mode. Presumably a normal refinery can only have one production mode. So how does this mix things up then? Ah, oh, so we're making more heavy oil. Oh, that's so useful because heavy oil is what we're really short on. We make more heavy oil and now we're getting sulfur as well. Does that mean we're drawing out now more crude oil? I don't think it does, does it? What is this helicopter doing? Leaflet dropping my way. There's only about 20 people who work here They're dropping hundreds of leaflets for. So that's really useful because the crude oil balance is still good. We're still positive just about by 85. We have got someone we could stick on the night shift if we need to. But we are now producing a lot more heavy oil, which is nice. And we are starting to produce sulfur as well. So, do we want to get the other one upgraded? We probably do, don't we? It has slightly shifted down our fuel oil balance. It also means we can actually start to contract on some of this heavy oil now for the first time as well. Um, how much are we producing? So we get rid of 100 of that a day. Let's deal on some of that, which will push up our daily balance even higher, which is perfect. A helicopter has flown away. Cool. That has improved our situation significantly. I'm much happier now than we were. Um, so what else have we still got to do? We've got to upgrade then probably our gas, gas plant is the, is, the, is the next thing we need to do. And we also still need to get our gas employee. Um, chemical production. No, He's level 3. What does he need? This one's cinema level 2 and a kitchen level 2. Crikey, these people are all so demanding. Oh, we're, we're out of food. Ah, 
No wonder people are unhappy. Okay, so we've just got our first level four worker. John Davis, solid chap. He's replacing Anthony Edwards on the day shift. He should now be knocking out um, lubricants like anything, which he is, which is perfect. It is going to stick us in a slight fuel oil deficit because we're now obviously using a lot more. But our lubricants production has obviously just gone through the roof, which is also nice. So, uh, you know, swings and roundabouts. We could do with, at some point, getting a sulfur contract. Ah, oh, it's only a thousand. Let's buy that. Um, we also need, though, to think about upgrading, possibly. Um, so that was our that was our refinery upgrade. So what about guess chemical plant upgrade? Chemical plant upgrade and solid fuel container. Yeah. That could be worth could be worth doing. Well we're also gotta get down here, so maybe we've got to get a gas plant first, so we can unlock that as well. We don't have enough money for either. But we shall do what we can. Let's flog a few bits. Well we're a bit short on fuel oil, so we'll kind of hang on to that for a little bit now. But we've got a few more sort of contracts on the horizon. We'll start selling a little bit of sulfur. Is it worth much? Mm, not really, is it? Almost not worth selling for a little bit. Let's just keep proceeding through the day then. Okay, so let's get our small kitchen upgraded because people are struggling a little bit on the food front. And that may give us access to a slightly better quality of meal. Go to a plain meal. Ooh. Although that does increase our water drawing down balance. So we need to actually build a water purifier. <laughs> oh god, this is just ridiculous. It's always something to deal with. Okay, so we've got a simple purifier, so let's build ourselves one of them if we can afford it. We can, we can. Where on earth are we going to squeeze this thing in? Just there. <laughs> Things are a little bit tight. Oh, we've got to be going to a power crisis. Oh. I think it's safe to say we're not going to be completing this one in one video. I think we shall stop there and we shall proceed this on part two because... Things are taking much longer than we expected. Our drilling rig is getting quite large and we have many problems still to solve. But hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And obviously subscribe so you can catch part two when that comes out. Thanks for watching guys and I shall see you all on the next one.